welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel so um today we're going to be looking at the gamma functions or gamma function of negative values so now um you know mostly you know, gamma function of negative value we're going to be looking at uh, uh mostly of fractions so but before we proceed i would like to note out some let's say some constants so in case we come across them in any other problem you are to solve so um what are those constants i'm trying to make make note make note of so now let's i want gamma function of the negative of n is equal to plus or minus infinity as um constant one you need to take note up in your head then gamma function of minus one so if this is possible then gamma function of minus one you know that is what infinity this is just an example this is not the second one this is just an example so the second one you need to make take note of gamma function of zero is infinity this first one and the second one so the third one goes like this gamma function of one is one so these are not actually what we need for today's um, lesson but just what what i need you to put up in your head so then we know our lastly um gamma function of n plus one is equal to n factorial which is equal to n gamma n and not lastly and lastly gamma of one over two is equal to root pi so then you can put this up in your head because you've been needing it for various problems on gamma functions so now let's drive down to do to, do, to today's lesson um, which says gamma function of negative values so now we're just going to be taking um before we go, proceed now there's a formula but it's not actually new to us so in order to solve gamma function of negative value of mostly fractions we'll be needing the formula gamma of n plus one equals n gamma n so in this case we're going to make in gamma n subject of formula so gamma n subject of formula there will be gamma of n plus one divided by n so like i said it's not actually a new formula it's just what we already knew but we are arranging it so this is what we need to solve for gamma function of negative values negative um, fractional values negative fractional values right so now let's take an example example one evaluate the gamma from gamma of um minus one over two now this is not one over two this is minus one over two but we know that gamma of one over two is pi root root pi so now we want to see what is the gamma of minus one over two so now like i said we apply this formula right so this is gamma so where n is goes to minus one over two right so this is um gamma of minus one over two equals gamma of minus one over two plus one divided by minus one over two right so this gives me gamma of one over two divided by minus one over two so taking this up so this gives me minus two gamma of one over two then you can apply a constant which says gamma of one over two is root pi right this is minus two square root of pi so that is our first example so now let's go to the second example um which we can use to fully understand how to solve for the gamma function of negative functions now let's go go to um for example we have to evaluate um evaluate the gamma of minus three over two right so like i said we apply the same formula which is gamma of n and um, which is gamma of n is equal to gamma of n plus one divided by n right so we're going to be applying the same formula so this is my example two so we're going to be applying the same formula so expressing this will be having where n is is minus three over two right so we'll be having 
um, gamma of minus 3 over 2 equals um, gamma of minus 3 over 2 plus 1 divided by minus 3 over 2. Right. So this gives me gamma of um, gamma minus 3 over 2 plus 1 gives me what? Minus 3 over 2 plus 1 gives me minus 1 over 2 divided by minus 3 over 2. So unlike, so if you remember the previous video we solved, we said we actually would stop only when we get to the gamma of 1 over 2. And that also applies here. So for example, now you say, okay, um, okay, so, okay, for example, you know we can we have previously gotten the value of gamma of minus 1 over 2. Then you can easily substitute this for this and that's your answer. But let's just take it as if you are solving this as an entirely new question. Um, so solving this, so taking this back, right? Remember, we can't stop unless we get 1 over 2, right? We get, get to the point of gamma of 1 over 2. So taking this, we have in gamma of minus 1 over 2. Applying the same formula, which is gamma of n is equal to gamma of n plus 1 divided by n, right? So applying it here, this will give me gamma of minus 1 over 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 over 2, right? So this gives me minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is 1 over 2, right? So this gives me gamma of 1 over 2. Remember, we took this, right? So this gives me 1 over 2, right? Divided by minus 1 over 2. And this gives me minus 2 gamma of 1 over 2. So now we can stop here. We can actually take this now and say, okay, apply the same formula. Because this is not a negative function and this is a constant. So now take this back to, to this here. We'll be having gamma. of minus 3 over 2 is equal to um, gamma, remember gamma of 1 over 2 divided by minus 3 over 2 and is equal to this minus 2 gamma of 1 over 2 divided by minus 3 over 2, right? So, right? So, we all know, we all know that um, gamma of 1 over 2 is root pi, right? So this is minus 2 root pi divided by minus 3 over 2. So I think minus will cancel minus. So taking this up, so gamma of minus 3 over 2 is equal to 4 divided by 3 root pi. So um, thank you guys for watching. And please and please, so that is all on gamma of negative value. So on the next video, we are, we are beginning an entirely new section on beta function. So thank you guys for watching. And please and please subscribe.